How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the recent Islamic terror attack in France and the crazy reaction from Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. His exact quote was, freedom of expression is not without limits. So when I read that, in my mind, what I hear is this. You have freedom of speech, and that's fine, but there's no freedom from consequence. Now, that's a crazy and ridiculous and irresponsible take for a variety of reasons. But before I go down that road, I got to back up a little bit here to explain to you what's going on, who did this attack, why they did it, where they did it, where they came from originally, just so we're on the same page with each other and you got the full context of what's happening. Now, let's go all the way back beyond this recent terror attack to 2015. Remember that? I did a story about the attack in France at Charlie Hebdo. Charlie Hebdo is a local publisher. If they're still there, I don't know, but I'll move on. And what they would do is publish images of the Prophet Muhammad. Now, if you know about Islam at all, you cannot publish any images or depictions of Muhammad. That's what they call haram or forbidden. You just can't do it. Some people, not all, not all, not all, but some Islamists will take up arms against you if you do it. They may kill you if you do it all right now in 2015 you had people that raided charlie hebdo's studios or their corporate office or whatever and they killed 12 people that was a really crazy moment i remember that it was it was a really dark time for france it was this whole big campaign remember that je suis charlie which means i am charlie it was a crazy moment it was really ridiculous really sad time just a really sad incident you know, you got 12 innocent people killed because of some pictures that were depicted. But again, this is Islam. You're going to have guys that take up arms against you if you do something like that. All right. Now, let's fast forward to 2020. A French teacher in a Paris suburb showed his students those same images from Charlie Hebdo of the Prophet Muhammad. Now, an 18 year old Chechen refugee decided he wanted to take arms against him. So he beheaded the teacher for showing Prophet Muhammad. Okay, that is the recent terror attack. Now, if you don't know about, you know, if you don't know what a Chechen is or where they come from, Chechnya is a region in Russia that's bordering the country of Georgia. And if you know about that area, that's like you got Azerbaijan, Armenia, they got a conflict going on. And it's right very close to Iran. I'll talk about Iran in a minute, but you got to get the full context just so we're on the same page. Now, going back to the Canadian Prime Minister Trudeau, what he said here was really irresponsible, number one, because when you say something like that, it kind of makes it seem like Islam is a dominant culture in France and that that must take precedent over all other cultures. Because let's be clear, Islamic culture sets precedent for certain things that could happen and you got to expect you understand like i'm not saying everybody's going to do it but you got to expect it here's a good example over here in the states we have a culture that says that if you engage in racial slurs against non-whites fortunately unfortunately whatever i think that all slurs should be treated the same but if you say like the n-word or something like that there's going to be a negative reaction it's part of the culture and the majority of us agree on that. Not all of us, but the majority of us agree on that. For better or for worse, this is part of the culture, right? And if you violate that particular piece of the culture, there could be some, some action taken against you. You know, it could, it could hurt you professionally. You make it hurt physically. There might be some kind of gunplay. And you know that because it's part of the culture. When you start to drop racial slurs, N-words, all this and that, it might be an issue for you. Is it against the law? Not necessarily, but it's part of the culture. Now, what Trudeau said is kind of the equivalent to that. But what it does is set the culture of Islam above all the other cultures. It sets it as a de facto culture or as a culture that must be preserved and represented within France when it shouldn't be like that. When the Rome do the Romans, I cannot go to the Islamic Republic of Iran where the flag literally says Allah, that little big centerpiece, it says Allah. And then it has the Takabir, Allah Wakbar written 11 times in script. I can't go over there and just engage in my normal culture, okay? If you got a girl over there, scantily clad, not really wearing the appropriate attire, she might get beat right there in the street, stoning everything else, okay? You might get locked up for indecent exposure. 
oh, well, I can I can do it in the States. You're not in the States anymore. When in Rome, do as the Romans. I can't go to Iran and do whatever I want like I'm in the States. And the same should be for France or for the United States or for UK or everywhere else. You can show images of whoever you want to show images of in Western culture without getting attacked like this. And if you do get attacked like this, it can't be seen as, oh, well, freedom of speech. It has certain limits. No, no, no. This is our culture. When you hear, you do as we do. If you can't do as we do, then you got to go. OK, this guy came from Chechnya as a quote unquote refugee. How did that happen? See, this is what's going on with France, and other parts of Europe. You're allowing your country to be inundated with people that have no respect for your cultural values for your nation's borders or anything like that all right if i'm going to a country and i want to be a citizen of that country i'm going to abide by their laws their rules their cultural norms all that i will become them if i want to stay there and engage in their society and if i don't want to become them i can't put my particular values above theirs nor can anyone else do it for me or for them that's what Trudeau did. He tried to put Islamic culture and values above all others. And don't say that I'm being a bigot or whatever. Even Macron, who I don't see as a conservative at all, said that this episode was Islamic terror. OK, not just a random attack because somebody got offended. It's Islamic terror. It is an ideological. It's a religious thing against people because they do certain things. That cannot take precedent. If you want to be from a particular place and you want to have your culture, go to where that culture is accepted. Like I said, I can't go to Iran and engage in my general Western culture. It's not going to be tolerated. All right. If I want to be a citizen over there, if I want to be a so-called refugee over there, I cannot do whatever I want. That should be the same thing everywhere else. All right. This is a really crazy situation, but it could be avoided. Like I said, you just got to have a you know tight border. And anyone that comes to your country at all needs to abide by certain things, abide by certain rules. This is why I did a lot of videos about UK and other parts of the world years ago, and I'm still doing them now. When I saw that Sadiq Khan, the, the, the Muslim, was elected over there in London, I was like, they've pretty much fallen. Not because he's Pakistani or that he's Muslim. It's because of the cultural thing and things that he had been saying, all right, kind of supporting the Islamic culture coming in. When you have an image of a woman in a bikini advertising the product, but then the picture's covered up in a very specific way. They got black spray paint and they're covering the body, they're covering parts of the face. You know, it, it's, they're covering it very specifically. Why are they doing that? Oh, because you got to put on the burqa, you got to put on a hijab, you got to put on a niqab to cover up your body. You see what I'm saying? But why am I putting on a burqa in, in the United Kingdom in London? Why am I doing that over here? Is this Londonistan? Is this uh, Paristan? Where am I living at right now? I expect certain things over in the Middle East, over in an Islamic place. Like I said, when in Rome, do as Romans. But if I'm in London, England, I, um, where am I at really? What is a cultural center? If you have multiculturalism, with competing cultures, you're going to have conflict because my culture says this, yours says this, and if it conflicts, then we're going to fight over it. And at a certain point, you're going to have one dominant culture because they defeated the other one. And it looks like right now, Islam is winning the cultural battle, at least in certain parts of the country over there in France, maybe Paris, maybe you go to UK, London, I'm not really sure. OK, I think I saw a, a, a study recently or a few years ago that said that um, the majority of London is not even people that are British, like, you know, uh, white Brits, people that are native to the place. It would be the equivalent of you go to Nigeria and Lagos was like 50 percent non-Nigerian or non-African, non-West African, 50 percent European is like, OK, where am I at? Am I in Africa or am I in uh, the, the Louvre somewhere, mine some kind of European museum. Where am I at right now? I think every culture, every country should be able to hold on to their cultural values and not be inundated from the outside with a foreign invader. But see, the problem with France, as is the problem with most of Western Europe, is that they're inviting people over here. If you don't invite them to your place, 
then maybe you won't be inundated with them and maybe you have less terror attacks. Maybe you have less teachers being beheaded because they showed a picture of the Prophet Muhammad. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think that multiculturalism works? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. How do you feel about Justin Trudeau talking about, oh, well, you know, you got freedom of speech, but you don't have, you know, it's got limits. How do you feel about that? What does that really say? Is it kind of a dog whistle to those that are out there who want to have their culture be the predominant culture? Because that's how it starts. Oh, just respect this about me and it's okay. Or respect this or respect this and respect that. And before you know it, you have a full blown Islamic revolution going on and you go from wearing whatever you want, you know, you got shorts and you out there surfing with a bikini on to now you're wearing a full hijab. It's a thousand degrees outside, no shade in July in Arizona. And you bought, you sweating bullets. You're sweating bullets, getting ready to dehydrate all because you said that the other culture was okay and they can come in. You're going to have one dominant culture over the other and you got to pick. Are you going to have the Judeo-Christian type thing going on or are you going to go down the Islamic route? Pick which one you want and stick to it. But to have the, the dueling cultural ideologies happening, it just can't work. That's just my take on it. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Peace. Thank you.